It looks like a Martian spaceship. But here, hiding out in this World War II era hangar in Orange County, California, might be the future of flight. This vehicle is a scaled down prototype model for our 66 ton cargo lifting vertical takeoff aircraft. This airship is about 270 feet long and weighs in at 36,000 pounds. Two and a half Goodyear blimps would fit inside. But don't call it a blimp or a zeppelin because this lighter than air vehicle doesn't get inflated and has a rigid structure inside. The skin of this vehicle is made out of a high-tech mylar. Inside there's a carbon fiber structure and then inside of that there are balloons that hold the helium. Helium is lighter than air so the airship functions like a submarine taking on more air to sink and land. It allows the vehicle to be heavier and set down on the ground and then when we want to re become lighter than air, we release that air. The groundbreaking feature of this airship is that it takes off vertically like a helicopter and can unload while hovering above the ground. You can take this vehicle and go to destinations that have been destroyed where there's no ports, no runways, stuff like that. This vehicle could go in there, offload the cargo, even if there's no infrastructure or no direct landing site for it to land on, this vehicle could offload its whole payload. In all, 66 tons of cargo can fit inside. The airship could help humanitarian relief efforts and supply forward bases in hostile territory. That's why the Pentagon and NASA have invested $36 million in the construction of this prototype. It can fly, barely, floating just above the floor, still in the hangar. For the aerospace engineers who built it, that first test flight was an unforgettable moment. It was an incredible, exciting day because because for me, I realized that I put a little dot in the line of aviation history. It was a little dot where something that has never been demonstrated before, now it's feasible. Soon the team will bring the airship now, outside the as like they further refine the aircraft and prepare to build the next model, which will be twice as big. Raquel Maria Dillon, The Associated Press, Tustin, California.